Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim. So for this quiz, I want you to pay close attention to the overall root anatomy and the PDL space of this tooth, which is number 15. So let, why don't we start out with the sagittal views. As I scroll through, I want you to follow the PDL space as best as you can. And I'm going to stop right here and I want you to see something that's very interesting. Let me remove the crosshair. So um, here we can see the perhaps the outline of the original root. But if you look carefully, there appears to be radio opacity that's been uh, that's in contact with this root. Perhaps grown, perhaps deposited. Okay, so I'm not, I'm trying not to give you too much clue here, but you can see that there's a thin radio loosen ring, most likely representing a PDL space along this tooth. Right? Even here, we can see that PDL space very well, whereas along the outline of the original root, we no longer see clear PDL space. Okay? So there, it, it, it's hard to see here, but we can see part of the PDL space in here as well. So um, why don't we then take a look at this in the axial view. So let me zoom in just a little bit, and then we'll get to the uh, crown and move toward the apices. So pay again close attention to the outline of the root. So as I move toward the apices, right about, uh, maybe let me scroll through a couple more sl slides. There's something that we see um, that's interesting. Let's look at the palatal root. Again, this might have been the original outline of the root, but now we see this enlarged appearance of the root. So we can draw the PDL space, and also the radi den radio density of this material is slightly, ever so slightly different from the original uh, density of the root. So let me scroll through that one more time. Okay, so you can vaguely make out the outline of the root and something that's now uh, made the tooth bigger. And as a matter of fact, this feature can also be seen on number 16 as well. So let me bring 16 and we'll try to look at this along its long axis. So yeah, let's do that. So starting with sagittal view, Yet again, um, here's oops, excuse me. Here's the outline of the root, and then we see something that's bigger than that. And again, there's the outline of the distal buccal root. So overall, root outline is very um, bulbous. If I were to describe that, use that term. Uh, it's very rounded. Um, the original outline of the root is now in contact or is intact with this 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 opacity, and this the same feature can be seen again. You can see I think we can see a better in this example the outline of the root, and then something that's perhaps grown or deposited on top of the tooth. So my question is what is the condition or what is it that we're looking at here so that's the question of the day so what is the specific condition or case that we're looking at from this comb mct okay thank you